Hello, I'm Andrew Malloy, the Automation Wizard, and today I'm going to show you how I quick capture on my iPhone to my Obsidian uh, database um, collection of notes, whatever you want to call it, your note-taking second brain. So here I have my Obsidian uh, vault open that I use. Uh, this is my current structure uh, that I use. Um, I use my uh, log here as as my kind of daily notes, and this is where I use the unorganized part of Obsidian or approach to Obsidian. Um, so usually from here uh, is where I start creating um, the organization from scratch. Um, uh, no. Hello, I'm Andrew Malloy, the Automation Wizard, and today I'm going to show you how I quick capture from my iPhone to my Obsidian Vault. So I have my main vault open here in Obsidian. Uh, I call, call my vault LifeOS. This is kind of a work in progress of, of trying to structure basically all data in my life eventually. Um, but this is basically how I've uh, laid it out for now. Um, it, uh, I know a lot of people use Obsidian specifically because you can create things with less structure to begin with, and I can do that as well. That's basically what I use my log for, which is actually my daily notes, um, and also uh, bring in an inbox, which I can then uh, organize from the inbox. And this is the important part for the quick capture, in fact. Um, I'll show you first by just creating a new note entirely, so you can see this this working from scratch, basically. Uh, so I'll just call this inbox, uh, since I have zero inbox as well as a note. Um, do I just put it? Let's put it in my last folder. So just drag it into my inbox folder. Okay, so this is going to be my inbox where I want to uh, send uh, anything quickly captured from elsewhere. And um, so we'll remember this, this is the structure. Uh, it's in this folder here, uh, zero uh, space inbox, and then the name of it is inbox. Not too important, but I'll, I'll show you later. Uh, why we're doing this? Um, so, uh, my current inbox is a bit messy, which is why I'm not showing it at the moment, uh, just to start from scratch. And then, basically, on my phone, so if I bring a mirror of my phone here, uh, as you can see, I've got drafts. Uh, so this is the important part of the quick capture is that uh, even before Obsidian I was using drafts as a quick capture tool. Um, it's really fast to use uh, and you can also take uh, uh, voice transcripted notes on your phone as well, your Apple Watch, uh, on, your, on your Apple Watch, uh, which is really fast. So I'm just going to open the drafts app I have here and I'll just type another note and from here uh, the other important component of this is uh, drafts can have custom actions and this is a custom action made by uh, Rosemary Orchard I'll put a link in the show notes notes for I'll put a <coughs> I'll put a link in the description uh, to in where you can get that. Uh, I've just renamed it here as LifeOS Inbox. When you go to Actions, um, so if I was to, so if I press on this action now, LifeOS Inbox, you'll see it running, and then it asks me which file I want it to go into. Uh, so I wanted to go into this new just inbox without the zero. Give it some time to save. It's gone. And if I check my list, nothing there. It's also auto archived it as well. 
And as you can see, it's already appeared in my inbox in Obsidian on the computer. So it's gone from uh, locally saving into uh, Dropbox, which is the sync that I'm using at the moment. Uh, I've not experimented with anything else at the moment. And that's why I use it with um, my Obsidian notes is Dropbox to sync across devices. So it's gone from the appending it in the notes this inbox note on Dropbox on the phone and then it's synced to the computer here. So you can see it's actually pretty fast. It's probably at least as fast or faster than uh, native quick capture I've seen on other uh, mobile apps uh, such as the Notion and uh, Rare Research versions of their mobile apps. Uh, there may be better ways once Obsidian has a mobile app, but for now this, is, this works for me. Um, so if we go back to the phone and the quick action, I may make a video on how to actually install this, um, but you can just install uh, custom actions uh, in quite a standard way. And this, this is how this is installed. So if I just click on edit here, uh, so this is where I've renamed it. Um, you can give it a different icon or whatever. So under the actual steps, so you can see where what Rosemary has uh, set up here. It's it's two steps. First is a script to to, to actually get the information, and uh, in the script itself, uh, I may change this more. Um, as you can see, I kind of really only want a single inbox place, so I may uh, get rid of the the file picker that Rosemary has put in there, and I may also end up doing a timed shortcut so it'll just go through my list of drafts so I don't have to keep setting the actions myself. Um, but the one thing I did change in this at the moment is the path. So I've just put the path um, in Dropbox. Um, it's at the top level of my Dropbox, uh, this LifeOS vault. And then I, as you can see, I have a folder. So this is part of the structure I've got with um, Obsidian at the moment is these high level folders first and then if I kind of need a document with the same name as the folder then I'll do that. Uh, so this is kind of one variation from Notion where everything is its own page as opposed to folders. Um, so I've put in zero space inbox is my folder name and that then lets, uh, lets the script actually pick uh, show a, a file picker. Uh, with the documents inside that folder. And like I said, my plan is just to have one um, or, or just a permanent inbox. Uh, so I may get rid of that part of the script or change it at uh, some point. And then the actual um, adding of the information to the Dropbox file. Um, so it's just appending to the file. Uh, I may experiment with um, different cloud systems at some point, but I'm using Dropbox anyway, so that's that's fine. And that's basically it. Um, uh, you just need to, whatever structure you have in place for Obsidian, uh, you need uh, you need some kind of cloud service to sync, obviously. Um, so Dropbox is uh, great for multi-platform uh, syncing. Um, I'm still yet to have any much success with iCloud uh, on Windows because uh, I use Windows as well as Mac. Um, but basically, yeah, just a syncing service like Drop Dropbox. Uh, use Drafts as as the quick capture, and I recommend I recommend using Drafts as a quick great quick capture tool uh, for pretty much any other app you use if you have an iPhone, and just try and find some kind of action to send it to the app that you use. Um, but this is uh, working great for me for uh, for Obsidian um, and until they come out with a mobile app. But even then, I may still use Drafts as, as a quick capture tool. Um, as you can see, I've got, I've tried other things as well with like Notion, Todoist, um, OmniFocus I do use a lot anyway. That is my task man management system. So yeah, I'll probably explain exactly how to install uh, custom actions in the notes or another video and I'll give the link in the description to uh, Rosemary's custom action that you install. Uh, it's uh, 
saves a lot of time and hassle trying to create it from scratch yourself and very useful i think echo i'll probably adapt it myself um and yeah i'll just do another example yet another note and yeah the great thing with drafts is you don't have to do this one by one uh, like i said i'm looking at maybe doing this even this part automatically of, of going through save notes and drafts rather than me having to go to the action manually but as it is if i have just a single note or something on the uh, on the go and send it just to show that it comes up and it's just added to the existing notes and you can process it from there uh, so that's it uh, thank you for watching and i'll come up with some new obsidian videos